Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going over how to create the Amazon KDP journals. So I've actually made six of them already and here is one where I ordered an author copy. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this cover today and also how to make the in inside pages. And then I'm going to show you how to upload them to Amazon. So let's get started. So first things first, you want to go over to canva.com and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to custom size and we're going to type in 12.722 and 9.25 and then make sure we switch this over to inches. Now over on the left hand side here you can choose from a bunch of different templates but you cannot use the exact same templates. You need to make it your own. Make sure you do your own research and make sure that you aren't like breaking any Canva guidelines and stuff like that. Otherwise you could get in trouble when you try and upload them to Amazon. All right, so first step is to choose a background color. So today I'm gonna go for like a, a sailboat vibe. So we're gonna go with a nice light blue. So let's do something like this. Um, if you do not like the shades that they give, you can just make it a little lighter. So we're gonna go a little bit lighter. Now, when creating the journals in Amazon, you want everything to be on the right-hand side because the right-hand side is gonna be where the cover is since the middle part is the spine of the book. So we're gonna go over to Elements and type in Sailboat. So to see like the legal terms for each of these elements, all you have to do is hit these three dots up here, then click the info button and make sure you read through all of this stuff if you can resell it, if you can redistribute, um, if you can change it around, stuff like that. So we're going to use this one right here. We'll put it over on the side. And then we're going to add in some waves. Now this is not going to be my best work here because I'm just trying to make it real quick for you guys. And then we'll add in some birds. But like, see how super simple this is? Like, you can make literally any design that you want. I'm doing this in two seconds. And then we're gonna add in like a cute little quote or something like that. So down here you can go to text. And there's a bunch of different like text options you can choose from that they give you. Or you could just add in your own body of text, which is what I will probably do. So we're going to do a cheesy little quote like, We cannot direct the winds. And then we'll do... Um, but we can just our sales. Oh, that's not how you spell sales. Sales. I should be a poet. And then all you can do is you can change this around, make it look pretty. So we'll do... I'm not sure what font I want to do, because I'm starting to really like this design. I might end up using it. We'll do Martell Bold for both of these. And we'll make them... Um, Alright, so if you want to select two images or two elements at once, all you have to do is click one and then hit shift, and then we'll do 40. Yeah, that looks good. And like I said, make sure that everything is on the right hand side. So, now this is not going to be the most high quality piece of artwork here, but it'll get the job done for this particular demonstration. Make those birds a little bit... Oh, too many to do that. Birds a little bit smaller. So yeah, this is not a high quality design by any means, but we're gonna run with it. This will be our... And then just like space everything out, make sure it's the way you want it to be. Yada yada yada. Alright, so we pretty much have our design. I'm just gonna shift everything upwards. Alright, perfect. So by no means is it any perfect, you know, journal cover. I do kind of like this concept, so I might go back and change it later. But 
For now, for the sake of actually showing you how to upload it, we're just going to go to that part. So next step is to go over to download, hit PDF print, download. Now, And then after that, we're going to go over to this website over here. So this is a website where you can download pages for completely free. Um, I came across this and I thought it was super cool. If you want these ones that are in gray right here, then you do have to be a member and I think you have to pay for them. But for this one, we're just going to use this simple lined paper. So I, I normally go with this one because it has a little heading up here so people can put the date on and then it's just lined paper. What we're going to do is we are going to hit six by nine and then you're going to enter in your page count. Make sure it says no plead, by the way. So typically I do like 120 pages. That's what I did for my other journals. And then you hit download. And then you get all of these pages right here, all 120 of them. So then what we're going to do is, oh, also, by the way, Amazon requires a minimum of 24 pages in order for it to be published. So just keep that in mind before you publish your journal. So now what we're going to do is go over to Amazon KDP and you have to create your account, or if you already have an account, just sign in. And then on the left-hand side over here, we are going to hit paperback. Then you're just gonna fill in all of the details. So title, subtitle, if it's part of a series, uh, your name, contributors, description. Now down here, you want to select, this is a public domain, unless you own the copyright to everything in the journal. And then we're gonna put in some keywords. So for this one, we might put in like, Sailing line journal, sailing notebook, sailing journal for kids, stuff like that. So look up some keywords, put them in here. This one, we are going to choose a category. So we are going to go to nonfiction, then select language arts and disciplines and journalism. Also, this should always say no, unless you do have inappropriate stuff in there for people under the age of 18. Now this page is where you actually fill out all the publication and print options. So Amazon will automatically assign you a free KDP ISBN. So make sure you hit assign me one, then choose your publication date. So today, um, I typically just do black and white interior with white paper, uh, six by nine, bleed PDF only you want to select. And then if you want matte or glossy, then here we are going to upload our manuscript that we just downloaded. And then down here, we are going to hit upload a cover you already have. So hit upload cover file. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit launch previewer. Now this typically takes a little bit of time. So if it's leaving you hanging for about like five or seven minutes, don't worry. All right, so now we have the print preview up. And I'm actually surprised that this came out pretty decently because I did it in like five seconds. But here it gives you the outline of where everything will be placed and if it goes off the edges. So this is super important if stuff starts to hang off the edges or if it isn't centered, then go back into your Canva design and go fix it. And then you can just re-upload the cover. So we're gonna hit approve and then down here, Amazon will tell you how much it will cost to print your book. Hit save and continue. And this is where you set the pricing. So you can select where in the world you want it to be shown, what marketplace, and as well as the price. So typically, I set mine to around $5.99, and then it will automatically convert it to the different countries' currency. And yeah, once you're ready to publish it, all you do is hit this publish paperback book. I'm not gonna do that because I do not think this one is ready to be published. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire process. It's very, very simple. So make sure you check the description below this video for the link that leads to the manuscripts that I downloaded the line paper on. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that explained how to create the journals. Please drop in the comments below if you have any questions. What's also really cool about creating these journals is that you can order author copies. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I would love to see the journals that you guys create as well. So if you follow me on TikTok, make sure you tag me in a video of you posting about your journal.